A publication that's very important because it really talks about a single particular style of art is the book called Patron and Painter, Situ Panchen and the Revival of the Encampment Style. And this is a Rubin Museum of Art uh, production and the <clears throat> author and the curator for this, or the outside curator, was uh, David P. Jackson. Now this book is very important because it's really the only book we have. We have some, some articles, but we, we don't have a large uh, publication that tries to deal with all of the different aspects of an art form that was developed by uh, Situ Pension Chukijumne in the 18th century. He actually referred to it as his own style. And it really is quite quite unique, uh, quite interesting. It has certain characteristics. And what we have also to support this style, this named style, is, is we have a tremendous amount of painting sets. He was uh, very much involved in commissioning uh, a number of different uh, sets, some of which he even designed himself, such as the uh, previous life stories or the avadanas of, uh, of the Buddha, Shakyamuni. And uh, then there are other sets, such as the, the 27 main deities of the Karmakagyu tradition. Uh, there are the Mahamudra um, golden garland uh, lineage uh, painting set. There's also the eight great uh, Mahasiddhas. Uh, and then there's many other sets that are attributed to him that are not uh, proven to be done by him and there's no there's no textual proof, uh, likely done by others, but they're all done in this Pulpung Monastery uh, specific style that was developed um, under the guidance of Situ Pension Chuki Jungne. So this publication came out in, in, in 2009 and it was part of an exhibition at the Rubin Museum of Art. So this is the main book to talk about, to have a discussion about the, the uh, Pulpung style. Now, some people still prefer to refer to this as uh, in Tibetan as a Karma Gadri or Karma Gadri style, but Karma Gadri style doesn't actually exist. Karma Gadri is a name of more of a tradition of a number of different styles over a, really it's a 500 year uh, period of time with, with many different innovations and, and incorporating many different elements of other styles. So Karma Gadri itself is a tradition, it's not a specific style. But Pulpung Monastery developed their own style under um, Situ Pension, and this became very dominant in uh, Eastern Tibet, especially in, in the Kham region. Um, uh, Kham region primarily, uh, also down into uh, Yunnan, uh, Sichuan, uh, so it, it was a very, very important tradition. It was very popular, and it continues to this day. And it is the main, it's, it's one of maybe two main traditions that we find in, in Kham, Tibet, and in Sichuan province uh, to this day. So press the like button, you can subscribe, you can join Har on Patreon, and you can also make a donation on Himalayan Art Resources homepage.